Welcome to this video that's going to show you exactly how we do a cardiopulmonary exercise test. I'm delighted to be here at Teesside University and we've got Emmanuel, our research nurse for a store, who's going to do a full CPET. So it's quite a long video, it's 26 minutes, uh, so you can dive in as much as you like, but this will tell you exactly what you're going to come up against if you're going to do one of these tests. Just at the moment they're just getting the height and length of the seats perfect and they're just going to connect an ECG band and then uh, they're going to take you through exactly how they do a cardiopulmonary exercise test. Hi Emmanuel, so thanks Hi. for coming in. So what we're going to do is get you on the bike today and we're going to do a ramp test. So we'll get you um, wearing a face mask like this one. So this is, it looks a little bit intimidating but it's okay. So you're able to breathe normally through it. So you can breathe through your nose, through your mouth, there's no resistance in it. So you can just breathe normally. Um, we'll get you on the bike, get it adjusted for you. Um, we'll work out starting workload and how kind of how hard we're going to make it increase, um, and then basically get you to, to try and work as hard as you can so we get a baseline measure from you today. So we will we'll take a rested measurement at first for three minutes, um, and like Joel says, we'll we'll get you to pedal again. It's no resistance, not very minimal resistance um, for three minutes, and then we'll gradually get it ramping up. So it'll feel really easy at first, and it'll start to get harder and harder basically until we can't anymore. Yes, the key is getting all the way to exhaustion, isn't it? It is, yes. Yeah. You can't go anymore. We do want you to work as hard as you possibly can today. I can't beat the 75 hour. So we're using the, uh, the medical grade uh, low grade Excalibur Sport um, bike there. So this is controlled by a Cortex Metalizer and the Metasoft Studio software. So we can program the different sort of workloads in. Um, it won't go from fully unloaded pedaling, but it's down to, I think it's around 20 watts. Um, is the lowest it'll go um, there, which is, is kind of pretty standard unless you get one with an assisted motor for the, the unloaded pedaling phase. Um, and it's capable as long as the, the pedaling cadence is between, I think it's 30 or 40 uh, revolutions per minute on the low end up to about 120 on the high end of maintaining uh, an accurate workload for whatever it's programmed in at. Um, work rate, we can program it kind of however we want, any sort of ramp rate there. I think as long as it's to a whole number, I think I'll check with the software, but it might not be able to do the 18.5 uh, per minute, so we might have to round that up or down there. Um, Cortex Metalizer, Gas Analyzer, um, so that'll be calibrated before every test, following like the two step process. Um, and we use the the standard kind of face mask rather than the mouthpiece so patients are able to breathe as they normally would through the nose and mouth rather than kind of being limited just to, to breathing through the mouth. And you take blood lactate, lactate sometimes? Um, yes, yeah, so typically we do, when we're sort of working with athletes, we do more of like a stepped protocol so that towards the end of each step we take blood lactate. So what we probably do here is take a rest in value um, we take one kind of at the point of exhaustion right at the end of the test and also take one after five minutes as well. So we'd normally use kind of a resting, uh, sorry, a final or a five minute post blood lactate value above eight millimoles per litre as one of the kind of criteria to, to say someone's reached VO2 max. Right, should we take a resting lactate value from you? Yeah, feel yeah. free, have a sit down there. It's good to be How do you feel, Emmanuel? Feeling nervous? Uh, I'm feeling very nervous. I'm feeling excited as well. I just want to understand patients' journey when it comes to CPAP tests. And um, I don't know. Maybe they might perform better than me. I'll see how good or bad I am when it comes to my conditioning. So we'll see. We'll see. So we're just going to do a little fingertip lactate sample. Third one, yeah. So we'll give it a wipe first, let that dry off. <laughs> I'm just thinking you want to be on the you don't want it. Have you had this done before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a power. It's so only going to go two mil in your skin. A little tiny droplet of yeah, blood there. This is just like a death test. Yeah, it'll be okay. So the rest of three, unbedded method, or unloaded method, three. It's about 41, increase to 21. Really tiny little sample there. There you go, do you want to hold that on your finger for a second? Yeah, yeah. 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 So 0.8 or textbook resting yeah. on that tape there. Perfect. Okay. Um, 
think we're just about ready with a computer. Would you like to hold that where it feels comfortable? Yeah. So what we'll do is we'll just adjust it just so we're not getting any air leaking out there. Okay. Cut these little bits in. Okay. And just watch your finger there. It's manual. So what we'll do is I'll just tighten it up so it's yeah. nice and even. Yeah. And more for you? Yeah. It's, it's, it's falling off. How does that feel? That's great, yeah. So if you I cover that little hole for a second, if you put palm your hand over the front there, can you push any air out? Can you feel it coming out? Yeah. So we'll just tighten that up a little bit more. And do you want to try the same again? Do you want to try pulling the mask down a little bit? You might get a better fit there. You can just give it a little bit, sorry. Give it a little wiggle on your face there. Go on. Same again. Is that only when you're pressing really, really hard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. so it'll be fine during the test there then. You know, just try to avoid tightening too much because there's not going to be that resistance while you're actually breathing out during the test. You can just breathe as normal there, the little turbine will spin round. Um, it's not like you're sort of pressing against something. Just because if it goes too tight, it stops you breathing through your nose normally. So how does that feel? A little looser, perfect. Okay, do you want to jump on the bike and we'll get you started? So we're doing a three minute, well, I get fair down there. Yeah, three minute rest. Three minute unloaded pedaling and then 21 watts a minute okay. ramp until you can then more. Okay. As I said, we're going to start at 40 ramp. watts and go 21 watts per minute. Okay. Does that feel tight for your foot there? It's good, it's quite good. Yeah. Um, there you go. Turn your gun. Do you want me to do? Just the touch red button and the touch. On the on the on yeah, TV. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you've got a three minute rest. Essentially, you just got to sit there for three minutes now. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. If there's anything extra we want to monitor in real time, in this case, if we were doing it with an ECG, you'd have that on the second screen there. But we've mm -hmm. also got um, kind of all the other sort of variables we can, we can drag on the screen there. Nine panel port and things like that. Oh, right. Wow. That's phenomenal. RER is obviously one of the key metrics. Yeah, that you, yeah. So I don't find the problem. It's start I don't, no, I don't think there was. No, no. no so it's not here that well, yes. no. Do you have a set one then? Or? We we're just aiming to keep above, like, 70, above 75. But most people who come in are. Um, Does this feel like age? Yeah, I say they ride what they came in. They keep the same people throughout the test. So, what's wrong with the Yeah. It's unloaded now, so your legs will probably spin a little bit quicker than they might when there's a bit of resistance there. I'll try to keep it under 100 for now. So if people don't hit threshold, it's obviously it's really on the side of the peak. Are you almost at the profile after doing a retest? Yeah, so, so the idea is that they come back for a retest because something happened on the day and then they didn't peak. Maybe they were dehydrated or not feeling well or they had a sore knee or something. So the idea is they come back. Not just strap on the bike. Yeah, yeah, I mean, there's, there's like really, really low resistance from the turbine itself, so it's, it's not actually being that much more like this. It'll last a minute now, and then we'll start to apply some work, or sort of gradually mm -hmm. start to get harder and harder. Mm -hmm. What was our round grade at this one? Sorry, 20, 20, 21. 21 mm -hmm. So it'll probably feel relatively easy still at first, and then yeah. eventually it'll start to get harder and harder, and we'll just want you to go for as long as possible. Mm -hmm. Patients, what are you trying to tell a manual to hit? Are you trying to tell him to hit a cadence on the screen? What's he aiming for? Yes, yeah, so it's a little harder now because there's essentially no sort of resistance on the bike, so your legs spin a little more freely. Yeah. But we're, we're sort of aiming between 80 and 90 revolutions per minute for a manual for now. Yeah. Oh, 
in a second when the, uh, the resistance comes on, yeah. which will, will start in about, what, three seconds? <laughs> there you go, you're off the proper test now. So you'll be able to see what you're doing on there, so you can see that constant yeah. climbing up of your, your resistance there. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I'll find a way out. Um, if there was another bog scale, because it's like, you kind of get licensed for it, don't you? You know, um, oh yeah, you get like the, the CR10 and the uh, 620 and stuff. If we were doing a little explain on this, what, what is Emmanuel seeing on the board if he looks to the right there? Yeah, it's on the board. So the first one we can see, um, sort of the top left of the, the row at the bottom there is heart rate, so literally how many times his heart rate is heart's beat in a minute. And we can see the volume of oxygen uh, there and the volume of carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. So they're really important, so we're looking kind of at the ratio between those two and how that'll vary as the test goes on. So what we actually see at the bottom left, RER, that's respiratory exchange ratio. So that's looking at um, the ratio between the two of those, so uh, kind of as Emmanuel gets closer and closer towards his max, that number's going to increase. It probably started somewhere around 0.7, and then it'll go up. And we're looking for a value above uh, 1. Point, was it 1.1 or 1.15? 1.15. 1 1 1 so, yeah, to kind of say that he's he's reached a, a true max value there. Some of the really simple ones we got the F there. That's breathing frequency. So we can monitor how that increases throughout the test there. Um, and then in addition to VO2, we've got VO2 divided by um, Emmanuel's weight. So that's how we'd often express it um, when we're comparing different people there. CHO and fat. CHO and fat, yeah. So they're really interesting ones. Um, it's something we look at quite a lot from like a performance point of view. So CHO is how many grams of carbohydrates he's, he's utilizing each hour and the same for fat as well. So we can kind of look again, similar to um, VO2 and VCO2, how they shift as it becomes more sort of carb reliant as, uh, as intensity increases. Yeah, no. Still pretty easy. Um, increases. So you can see now what Harry has. Just about coming up to one, so he shifted towards a more carbohydrate metabolism. Yeah, pretty much exclusively now. That's reflected in the bottom two boxes as well, isn't it? Yeah. So Emmanuel is about five minutes through the test and we expect the test duration to be between eight and twelve minutes and that's where the start intensity is um, calculated from. So Emmanuel started at 40 watts and he's been gone up 21 watts. Generally, we, I suppose we probably look at lactate thresholds, but um, we can also look at the, the ventilatory thresholds with the sort of increase in uh, VE compared to VO2 and then for the second threshold for V versus uh, VCO2. Go on, Emmanuel. Still feeling good? Yes. Looking nice and comfortable. Great work, Manuel. Keep it up. Great work, man. Keep going. Like again, do you want to make a note of them finishing work or then skip to recovery on that? Come on, Emmanuel, keep it up, keep it up. Now I'm going to lap it down. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Come on, Emmanuel, go on, go on, go on. Keep it up. You've got to keep that above 80. Keep it up, then hard as you can. 
Johnny, would you mind grabbing a stop off just Matt or the colleague? Great work, Emmanuel. Keep it up. Keep it going. Keep it up. Do you want to start that when he finishes? Yeah, for uh, the 10 minute. Well, I'll finish course in 10 minutes. Yeah, you can finish it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go on, Emmanuel. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep going. Push, push, push. Exhaustion, and then and then you give him a recovery phase, just still cycling, yeah. is that thing, and then and then you, you're going to do one more step after that. Yeah. Oh, that's so your cool. recovery, you don't actually stop them. So Typically not, no. So this is just on more the just pedaling, yeah, it just is. to keep, yeah, yeah so they get stiff and things. So. It tends to help people avoid kind of feeling sick and things like that. Yeah. Yeah. So what was the? Can we verify in then? Yeah. So what was the, the equation that you were using? Yeah. So it's not in our protocol, but the guy, Frank, in, in Denmark was say he just puts them back on. I think he said 10% of what the match and what it was. Mm -hmm. so what would you guys do? Would you just yeah, well, yeah. straight back on the same as the people? What do you normally do with a verification on the performance test? Uh, usually a little higher, so I'd maybe, I think someone mentioned Final watch plus ten percent, which I think sounds reasonable. So we're yeah. probably going to get. A, I think as long as you get them to ride for at least really three minutes and less than ten minutes, as the sort of what we call like a time of exhaustion. There, I think it's your hardest watch. Yeah. yeah. Was there a set protocol for VO2 max from that? Was it like a sort of rolling fifteen second average, thirty second average, anything like that? So the protocol says between eight and fifteen seconds. Right. As it is, I was is set to give a second by second average as we go through there. So generally, if, I, if I'm doing it, I tend to use a like a rolling 15 second average and take the highest and that's some sort of outlier in there. Um, which I feel the most sort of comfortable saying that as soon as we have two rounds. 9.5 there. Well, you tried hard, man. <laughs> I'm impressed with you. 9.5, you like to take what's after 5 minutes. I actually went up from uh, 7.8. Just more first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, so we've got test there, really. But we leave in, what, we give in 10 minutes before the verification? Yeah, so I, I normally start, like, probably somewhere around the 8, 9 minute mark to set it up there. So we'll get as much and try and get it as close as possible as the 10 minute uh, mark. Yeah. We've got something in Rosemark, we can ask, like, 
So in the so in the we have uh, I think it's I think it's six or seven clinics a week we have. Um six now I think. Six clinics a week. And in the clinics there'll be either myself or well, it's just, it's just a plus a step. Plus uh, yeah, plus yeah. If you just put so it in like if it's minutes, doing those tasks, just as one step. Yeah, and rest on most of that on these tests. Do you want to rest in and load the bench for the fully trained technicians? Yeah, for the steps, I mean for the verification of the Yeah, so when we have stu when we have a Keep going.
be fair though, if you look at it there, we could probably are getting a bit of a point towards the end. It's hard to sort of shop here. Yeah, I mean, I expect it's going to be like a bit of a cool off as long as there wasn't any more than one to jump off the bike now. Unless you want to do another one. So, how bad was I? Um, so Not compared to you. <laughs> so what was the so when you you finished what was it was it breathing or was it legs? Just no no just the legs. Legs. Just the legs. legs. So to be honest, you were sitting your legs really quickly so maybe uh, I think uh, I was overused my legs and rather than go around 80 I went around 110. Yeah. It all it all depends as well. If you don't do much cycling, there is going to be a yeah. More of I'll come back in about six months and to a year and I'll show I'll, I'll be this one. You <laughs> <laughs> did a great job. Done. I can still walk here, I can still walk. How was it? You're knackered. Knackered, yeah. Very tiring, but very interesting to find out how bad you are. <laughs> but I reached on the 41 mark, so you should be proud. Yeah, well done. No, you did good. You you deserve the rest of the day off. Uh, no, I'm going back to work. <laughs> you are, yeah.